Welcome to Real Estate Investing for Women. On this show, you will learn how to create wealth through real estate the blissful way. That means with very little stress and very little time. We talk about strategies, mindset, heart set, money smarts, resources, and so much more to ensure you're able to create the success you most deeply desire. Now, here's your host, Monika Sawyer. Hi there, ladies. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday already and you're spending time with people you love or doing things that you love or both. (laughs) Yay. You know, um, I wanted to do an extra show today because I personally am feeling a lot of gratitude. And so I wanted to share that with you and maybe help you to experience a little bit more bliss through this uh, this holiday season. So there's a couple of things that I'm feeling a lot of gratitude for. First of all, for this show, I feel a huge amount of gratitude that anybody wants to listen to me, <laughs> that I've got something to say that people find valuable and that you ladies um, are there for me. You let me know what you need. You uh, let me know that you're loving stuff and that I'm changing your lives. And so I feel a deep sense of gratitude for, I feel like I finally found my calling. Like this is the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know why it took me till I was like 48 or 49 to figure this out. Like why did it take so long? But I'm so grateful that I did figure it out and that I'm kind of now living the dream, right? It's really fulfilling and I'm changing lives and I'm helping people create bliss. Um, which is really my heart work. And also I'm helping them to create wealth, which will help all of us to live more blissful lives. So I just want to say thank you to you for being a part of my life and for supporting me. And I want to hear from you. So please remember that like part of what makes my work worth it is hearing from you, hearing what you need. I know that that doesn't seem Um, like something a lot of ladies, women like to do. We don't often like to ask questions or ask for help, but um, I would love it if you did that. I want to hear more. What is it that you need? What questions do you have? How can I serve you more? Because that makes it more fulfilling and gratifying for me. So thank you. Thank you for being a part of my life. The other things that I'm really grateful for, I want to tell you a little bit of a story, and I hope this doesn't come across as Um, a brag. It's more just to kind of make a point. Um, A girlfriend of mine, she started traveling the country in her RV about five years ago. She retired. And so once a year, we see each other two or three times a year. And usually it's we meet somewhere like I met her in Belize when I bought my Belize property. I've met her in Hawaii. So we meet different places. That's with our our significant others. And then she and I have a girls retreat for two or three or four days every single year. So it's just her and me. And last year, we didn't get to do either of those things um, because of COVID. And so this year, when we were doing our weekend away, um, we decided to totally splurge. Now, what was interesting about this is so we haven't spent money in two years. And so she texts me and she says, Monica, do you want to go to the Ritz? Now, usually we will go to a place that it's not cheap. We usually go to a spa, you know what those prices are like, they're not cheap, but usually we'll spend somewhere between 300 and 500 a night and then we split it. But she, the Ritz is 1100 a night. Like she wanted to do the whole package. And what I was so grateful for was that it didn't, and, it, and this is thinking back on it, it didn't even occur to me to say no. Like, I didn't even think, oh my God, that's so much money. I didn't think about any of those things. Now, certainly we're only going for two nights, right? And we're splitting the cost. Still, there's a lot of, you know, just five years ago, I'd have thought, I can't do that. I can't afford that. And my financial situation is better. That's true. And I'm grateful for that. I'm not minimizing that. But the thing that I'm most grateful for is that I didn't have to think about it. How did my life get to that point where I can just be a yes when my heart says yes? Now, there are a lot of things, you know, there's <laughs> there are a lot of people a lot richer than me and they can say yes to a lot more things. 
But I'm so grateful for the fact that I wanted to spend this time with my girlfriend, just us girls, really connecting. She desperately wanted to do something because she's never done this before. She doesn't have anybody else in her life that she could do that with. She's like, you're the only person I could even ask. And I didn't expect you to say yes. And I was able to say yes to her. I'm so grateful that I can do that. And then the next thing that happened is um, I went to Mexico with my parents to, to take care of them. My dad's 90, my mom's 83. They're not really very mobile, but they've traveled their entire lives. They don't want to stop now. It's a, it's a quality of life issue for them, right? And I want to be able to support them in that. So um, I was able to take time off of work. And uh, they were not able to pay for vacation this year. Usually they pay each year, but they, it's because they have a timeshare, blah, 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 long story. Anyways, they weren't able to get us a, a condo. So we had to pay. It was not cheap, right? Because again, they're staying at an all-inclusive resort so that they can travel, but not travel, <laughs> not deal with all the other stuff. So we were able to be a yes for that too. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I know there's, there's a lot of focus on this show about money and investing. What I really want to focus on today is a gratitude of what those things can get us, because it's not really the money that we want. It's this. It's the ability to say yes to the people we love. It's the ability to, to give to our aging parents, to our children, to our spouses, to take care of ourselves, to be able to be yes for our friends when they need us or just want to play in a way that they can't play normally, right? What is it that money gets us? And I'm beyond grateful for what it's able to do for me. And, and in addition, right, like how much donations was I able to do this year? I did so much more this year than I've done in the past. So I've, I've got now I've got that foundation that I don't worry about this stuff and I can do things in a little bit of a bigger way. I can be a bigger yes. I can connect more deeply with my heart because I'm not worried about budget, right? I can donate more when I feel more like I want to do that, right? So I'm so grateful for what my, my real estate business has provided me in the way of opportunities to really follow my heart. And so I've been sitting with that. And again, please forgive me if that sounds like a brag. I'm not, I, you really, I hope you understand that that's not what the point is here. But as I was in Mexico with my parents, I was sitting in the afternoon. I was actually going to do this there, but I decided not to because I didn't want to get all dressed up. <laughs> and I wanted to focus on my vacation. But as I was sitting there on the balcony, looking out at the ocean, I was filled with this incredible feeling of gratitude. And that feeling of gratitude is what makes life so worth it. What's also really cool about really feeling that gratitude in that way is now I've got that to take it with me. So when I came back to work and like things were on fire, there were technical issues that happened with the show. I'm sure you ladies noticed, right? There were things that went wrong. And so I was having to put all these things um, out, all these fires out. I was having to deal with all this stuff. Suddenly I was hit with stress. I could sit down and because that emotion of gratitude was deep and anchored in me, I could plug into it again. I could feel it. I could bring it back up. And so um, so I feel really grateful about that. And then what was even cooler about this, and I really want you ladies to think about this. What is it that we want to create in 2022? I can't believe we're already talking about this, right? What do you want to do in 2022 and beyond? So is it possible to feel gratitude for what we have, which is what I've been talking about, but also gratitude for what we're about to create. Don't you love that? We can have gratitude for what we have and for what we are about to create. So over this weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, there's a few things that I invite you to do. The first thing is to really sit, and maybe it's not on Thanksgiving day, I know there's a lot of bustling about, but if you can do it as soon as possible, sit down and be in true gratitude for something in your life. 
anything. It could be big, it could be small, it could be something that happened today, it could be something your whole life, it could be whatever. But be able to get really deeply into that feeling of gratitude. And then what I might do if I were you, this is what I do, is when I'm in that feeling of deep gratitude, I touch my heart. In that way, it anchors it. So I go into this really deep feeling of gratitude. I tell myself the story. I envision what's going on. Like I, you know, as much as I can give myself in the way of filling all the senses. So the thoughts, being able to see myself in those places, being able to feel it, being able to taste or hear or smell, whatever it is that engages that feeling of gratitude. So not just I'm so grateful for, which is great, but really dropping into your body. And this takes a little bit of time. It's a, it's a little bit more involved than just writing, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this. Create the story around what that gratitude is and really feel it in your heart. And then when you're really deep in it, touch, maybe touch your heart, right? Touch something, touch your heart, touch your fingers together, you know, touch your shoulder, you know, whatever it is anchor that feeling. Remember to let go of that anchor before that feeling of gratitude tends to disappear, right? Because it comes in waves. You feel like huge amount of gratitude, touch, and then you start to to see it's fading away. Let go of that anchor because you want that anchor to be just the gratitude anchor. Now, what I want you to do is think a little bit about what you want to create. 2022 is right around the corner, right? What is it that you want to create in that year? Again, you can think of something big, you can think of something small. I'm not asking you to put together these big goals, but there's a little bit of a gap right now between where you are and where you want to be. Just because we're grateful for what we've got doesn't mean we don't want more. That's part of what living life is all about is what's the next step? What's the next evolution? What's the next cool thing for us, right? So you want to think about what is that? And it could be something very, very small, right? Or it could be something big. Like I want to buy my first real, my first piece of property. I want to invest in my first syndication. I want to um, start a new real estate wholesaling business, whatever it is that you want to do, right? It could be those things. If it's those things that you want to pick one step, you don't want to go for like the big gusto thing. You want to pick the, a step that you can actually really um, achieve. So um, maybe it's doing research, maybe it's calling a realtor, maybe it's, you know, whatever that first step is. So there's a gap, right? Now think about, so take that feeling of gratitude, you can touch that feeling of gratitude and, and think about that thing. I should do it the other way around. Think about what that goal is, or what that future thing that you're going to create is. And now touch your heart and deliver that feeling of gratitude to that new goal as if it's already happened. Did that make sense? So you're going to think of that next step or that next goal or the other side of that gap, what you're trying to achieve. You're going to think about it and then you're going to touch your anchor of gratitude and you're going to feel intense gratitude for this thing already having happened. When you do that, you're now pulling yourself forward towards that next piece, that next part of your life that is going to fill you up. And you're going there with gratitude. So that's my invitation for Thanksgiving, is to fill today and tomorrow with so much gratitude that you can't help but be blissful. I hope that you loved that. Um, I hope it was helpful and I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will look forward to talking to you guys soon. And always remember, as always, goals without action are just dreams. So get out there, take action and create the life your heart deeply desires. I love you ladies and happy Thanksgiving and we'll talk soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to find out more about how to become a blissful millionaire, go to blissfulinvestor.com. See you next time.